great combination of size and speed. It's the speed on display here. Jamal makes the grab and it's a touchdown. I cannot believe what I just saw. Welcome to the Deseret News Rewinds 4A Game of the Week. I am Dusty Lister. Our Game of the Week in 4A, probably out of the state of Utah, East versus Timview. These two teams have played in the state tournament every year against each other since 2011. The only couple times it didn't happen outside of Rysicle Stadium, which is right behind me, East got those wins, except for one time where Timview took care of business down at Timview. These two teams know each other extremely well, and last year in the 4A state championship game, for the first time, the East Leopards knocking off Timview, getting that 4A title, raising the banner for the first time in Coach Maddich's terrific career, they were able to look at Timview and say, hey, I'm the captain now. In last year's meeting, East scored 49 points and rolled up over 500 total yards of offense. The running game this year is statistically the best in the nation with over 500 yards on the ground, led by Jalen Warren, who was gunning for the single season rushing record. Tempe welcomed newcomers Chaz Ayu and Alema Teo to the roster this year. They feel that they're retooled and ready to take on the Leopards. Right off the bat, Chaz Ayu announces his presence with authority, picking off Mason Hayward. Timview turn it into early six. Jordan Marituragi hits Kyle Van Leeuwen from 16 yards out. 7-0 T-Birds. Said it in the 4A preview show. What you gonna do when Jalen Warren runs wild on you? 80 yards without even being touched. Tied at seven. Apparently Jalen, he likes toting the rock and wants it some more. Now come some turnovers. East. Turns Tiffu over on downs. The Leopards, they return the favor. Can't hang on to the ball. This one, well, this one's tough. Teo may have been down when that ball came out. Goes from first and goal to first and ten east. Hayward avoids the pressure, but Peyton Madsen read him all the way. Takes it to the house, and Tiffu leads 14 to seven. T-Bird faithful making the trek north, and they gotta be liking what they're seeing. Second quarter, and the hits keep coming. Another fumble, and another Tiffu recovery. It leads to Lemma Teo with Teo power, and it's 21-7 T-Birds. Now time for a piece of history from Jalen Warren. It's been great. Like, I'm not, I wasn't too focused on breaking the record. I just wanted to win. I just wanted to win. He's blessed to have good guys around him. He's a special, humble kid. He deserves everything good that he gets, and, and I hope it keeps rolling for him. The ensuing T-Bird drive stalls at East, where they keep it alive. Madsen with the recovery, giving a short field to Timfew. Momentum? Well, it's not faithful. Speaking of newcomers, Tyler Etowati, the transfer from Roy, picks off Margaret Turagi, and the game, well, it turns right here. Charlie Vincent, only knows long distance relationships. 66 yards out, point after no good, and it's 21-20, T-Birds at the break. Check this out. These T-Bird students have never seen their football team fall short of the 4A state championship game. The only team to beat Timview in the playoffs since 2011? Well, you got it. It's East. Got them twice, including last year. Charlie Vincent at 179 yards rushing on eight carries. Leopards lead. 27-21. Meritaragi, well, he came out dealing in the second half. Hits Van Leeuwen over the middle. This one, a little bit longer. 28-27, Tim Few. It's nice to have a rock in your offense, especially when it's Jalen Warren. When the dive is going this well, everything else goes too. Charlie Vincent with the hat trick. 34-28 East. 
I love getting, I love getting tackled, not having the ball, and then looking up and I see my running back running down the sideline. And that makes me more happy than scoring. T Brutes, they gotta keep pace. But in this game, field goals, they weren't gonna help. Jalen Warren, well, he feasts on opportunities. Rips off another big run. Had 249 yards rushing in this game. Warren caps off the drive and extends the East lead. Leopard sideline, they can feel the win is close. With a field goal from Simpson, Tim Few cuts the game down to seven points. The defense holds East to a field goal attempt, but there was a penalty that keeps the drive alive. And Jalen Warren officially puts East out of reach with his fourth TD of the afternoon. It's a short trip to Rice Eccles Stadium, but East is heading back for the fifth time in the last six years with a 47-34 win over Tinfew. Uh, I don't care who we play, I'm just happy that we got a chance to go. I mean, we live in the shadow of that sucker every day. We have to look at it every day. It'd be a shame if we don't get to play there. What a win for the East Leopards. Jalen Warren in the last two games against Tinfew, over 500 yards rushing. Let that sink in. When Tinfew does not allow rushing yards, hardly anybody, Jalen Warren in the last two games have actually absolutely ran ruckshaw on the T-Birds. When you look at, at Tinfew, kids who played outstanding careers. Chaz Ayu transferred in this year from Westlake. Terrific career for Chaz Ayu. He's going to be able to go anywhere he wants to go. And we know he's going to pick the place that's best for him. Best of luck. He's going to represent himself, the state, very, very well no matter where he goes. And for the East Leopards, they continue to move on. Coach Maddich and crew, it's not about last year. It's about this year and getting another one. And this team is so talented, young, deep, and ferocious. They'll be heading back to Rice Cycle Stadium, and they get to take on Maple Mountain as they're one more step closer to getting back to the 4A State Championship and defending their title. Congratulations to the East Leopards on getting a win against Tinfew and heading back to RES.